What's up, Gear Mortals? Trey Xavier here. On today's edition of Gear God's Quality Control, we're going to be taking a look at the Isovox 2 Mini Isolation Booth. I don't know if you know this about me, but I like to sing. And I live in a little tiny apartment with some really thin walls. And uh, as you can see here, my immediate next door neighbor, hi David, hi. lives right here. So I'm gonna stick this stereo microphone inside of David's apartment which he has kindly allowed me to do, so thank you, David. No problem. I wanna see exactly how much my singing is going to be isolated in the ISOVOX uh, when I sing really loud right next door to him. So here's what it sounds like with me singing inside the ISOVOX. Holy diver, you've been down too long in the midnight sea. Oh, what's becoming of me? Between the velvet lies! So now I'm gonna try it without the isobox, which is as simple as pretty much unzipping the thing and taking it apart. So I'm gonna leave the mic in the exact same spot. Voila! So here's what it sounds like without the isobox. Holy diver! You've been down too long in the midnight sea. Oh, what's becoming of me? Between the velvet lies. So now I'm going to try it with the stereo microphone inside of the room. Holy diver! You've been down too long in the midnight sea. Oh, what's becoming of me? Reach for the morning. You've been hiding in the sun to see the light. Oh, we will pray it's all right. Between the velvet lies, there's a truth that's hard to steal. Holy diver, you've been down too long in the midnight sea. Holy diver, you've been down too long in the midnight sea. Reach for the morning, you've been hiding in the sun to see the light. Reach for the morning, you can hide in the sun to see the light. <laughs> As you can see, um, we have basically a cube and it's made of a, a patented material, an absorptive uh, f something material that does a great job not only absorbing and preventing reflections, um, but also isolating your voice uh, or whatever it is that you're recording in here from the outside world. The back panel is the thickest part of the whole thing and of course that has to kind of take the brunt of your singing. So um, this one is actually like two or three times as thick as these sides are, which makes sense to me. I love this little light that's in here. I got the Isovox logo. The whole thing is finished in a nice uh, sort of muted light gray, which is um, a really good look for a studio, I think. And as you can see, a pop filter fits on easily and quite nicely. There's plenty of space to stick your tablet and or your phone to read your lyrics off of it or take notes. Or here's another important thing. There's a lot of like, DAW remote control apps um, for various mobile devices and you can control what's going on in Pro Tools or whatever you're using right inside the booth. I also like to use my uh, wireless keyboard which I can plop right down there and hit stop and start. Super easy. And then last but not least we've got this flap to close you in. I personally think this flap could use some velcro uh, like we've got on the other sides but maybe that's in the works for the next iteration. I feel like in other countries, uh, singing out loud, singing in public, singing other places other than a stage or in a studio is kind of more socially acceptable than it is in America where I live. We kind of have to hide ourselves away when we sing or sing in, uh, you know, appropriate kind of circumstances like at a concert, on stage, in front of people, open mic, karaoke. Etc. And even then, people feel like they need to be drunk. While I think that kind of sucks, that's sort of the culture that we live in. So, having a place at home where you can record yourself and practice singing 
um, without bugging other people is really important. That's where the Isovox 2 comes in. As you can see, it's a bit cozy in here, but as you can hear, the sound is pretty much dead isolated in terms of sounds from the outside world and reflections off of walls and stuff like that. Right now I'm rocking my uh, one and only large diaphragm condenser, which is the uh, Mojave Audio MA200, which is a tube LDC. It's a sound that I'm really used to. I know it uh, really well. I've used it to record pretty much everything on an album with the exception of drums and guitars. For me, it's like almost like a flat sound in the sense that when something is different, I know what it sounds like and I, I can hear how it's different because I've used it so much, especially on my own voice. So getting to hear it in this little tiny isolation booth is really uh, pretty cool because you can really hear what it sounds like just in a, just in a basically acoustically dead environment. As you can see, there's no reverb whatsoever. I'll just talk a little bit and then stop to prove the point. I think uh, it did a really great job of sound deadening in the sense that there's no reflections off of these little tiny walls. Normally, if you're recording um, anything in a, in a box this size, it's going to sound boxy. But as you can tell, that's not really the case. It's just dead, almost like an anechoic chamber kind of. I Actually, I kind of like just uh, just sticking my head in here sometimes and just enjoying the silence, to be honest something very soothing about it. It comes with this little bar here that you can hook your microphone onto. So all in all, the Isovox is extraordinarily impressive uh, for what it does. If you live in an apartment like I do and you like to sing, if you do voiceover at home, if you're trying to get into voiceover, getting a, or building a full-on isolation booth in a lot of situations is very impractical very expensive. I believe the Isovox 2 is around $1,000, which seems like a lot, but if you're a singer, it's easily one of the best investments you can make so that you don't have to find somewhere else to practice. Imagine how much money you will save versus going to a studio for a week or two. Instead, spend it on something like this so that you've got a spot to record and to practice whenever you want forever. So the Isovox is really, really easy to set up, to assemble, and to break down. It zippers and Velcros together in about five minutes. Um, it takes a little bit of practice to be able to throw it together. I also really like the ability of the Isovox to do this. Take off one panel and then you get the, uh, the Wes Anderson cutaway view. So I've actually been using this booth to track demo vocals for the upcoming In Virtue single, which will hopefully be out this spring. And um, honestly, they're sounding as good as anything I ever recorded in a studio um, and paid money to do. The home recording revolution is in full swing, and uh, Isovox is, is a new weapon on the front line. If you sing, if you do vocals, vocals, screaming, guttural, whatever, then this is definitely something you're going to want to look into. If you live in suburbia, if you live in a shitty little apartment like I do, you don't want to bug your parents, don't want to bug your neighbors, whatever. In the past, I've used other products like the Chaotica Eyeball to record uh, demo vocals, and that works pretty well for isolating just the microphone, but it doesn't isolate the sound of your voice from the outside world. I think if you did something like put it in a closet or whatever, you could effectively completely isolate your voice from the rest of the world. No one will ever hear you in a million years. I mean, you could tell from the experiment that we did that it did a great job of doing just that. It's a quarter of the size of even the smallest vocal booth I've ever seen. And it sits on a typical PA speaker stand which it's worth noting is not included. You have to get your own. Singing is supposed to be fun. If you're worried about pissing off your neighbors or your parents or your roommates, you're not gonna be able to go at it as hard as you really should be. You're not gonna be able to have that kind of fun or be as productive as you could be. The Isovox allows you to get the maximum enjoyment out of your singing as well as the best possible sound in possibly less than ideal acoustic circumstances. I feel like this would be especially great for like project studios, uh, smaller studios that just need an extra isolation booth, or anybody who's working on a budget and wants to sing. The only things that I feel could be improved on the Isovox is that it was just a little bit taller. And actually speaking to the guy who made the Isovox, he agrees with me and uh, he says that the next production run they're going to incorporate a slightly taller version. Basically, 
if I have my headphones on and the mic is at a comfortable level, sometimes my head is kind of scraping the ceiling. So I think they're gonna make it a little bit taller. Really not that big of a problem. The Isovox 2 uh, is a literal godsend and I highly recommend you check it out. Go ahead and head over to isovox.com for more information and uh, I will see you real soon. Thank you.